How's it going everyone? It is Pangino here and this is the Crew Motorsport Best Settings Guide. In this video we're going to be going through the best in-game settings you need to be utilizing on your system whether it's old, new, high-end, low-end, 1080p, all the way up to 4k and everything in between. By the end of this video you'll be getting the absolute best game experience possible on the Crew alongside the smoothest performance and balanced visuals so your game both plays well and looks good. Before we jump into the individual game settings it's first of all very important to ensure that you're closing out of any excess applications, web browsers and other programs you don't need open in the background when playing your game. Only keep the essential applications open. Once you've booted into the game, at the main menu, I would highly recommend you take yourself over to the options section, go over to video. You'll actually have the option to be able to run the inbuilt benchmarks so you can get a baseline of what your current performance is at the settings the game has automatically set up or the settings in which you are using. This is super useful as you will get an FPS graph alongside the maximum, average and minimum FPS which you're currently getting, which we definitely want to take a quick look at because you can quickly and easily compare before and afters on your system so you can try out all of the settings showcased in this video, try out the different optimized presets and see what works best for your system and at the end of the video you can let me know of your results in that comment section down below to see how much of an FPS increase you were able to see. Hit run benchmark, wait for the benchmark to finish, get your end results, once you have those note them down or take a quick picture on your phone so you can see what the performance was like beforehand. At this point I'd recommend booting into a live instance of the game to go through our in-game settings because you'll want to see what they look like in real time. At this point go ahead and press escape, head over to the left hand side to the settings cog, go to the options menu, then head over to video. We'll be coming back to this tab later on, but the main settings we first need to set with inside of here is going to be changing anti-aliasing over to TAA, setting VSync to off. Some of you may prefer to have VSync enabled, but if you aren't able to get stable FPS, VSync on could create certain issues, and there are better alternatives we'll be covering in a few moments. Alongside adjusting your FPS log. For nearly everyone watching this video, based on the optimized settings presets which I'm about to showcase, I would recommend setting this to 60. Head over to the quality tab at the top, once inside of here, you can then copy one of the presets which is showcased on screen. One preset is for my recommended optimized settings for those of you at 1080p, 1440p or 4K as these settings will optimize the gameplay experience without losing too much of the visual fidelity and in some cases even increasing visuals. And for the second lower end preset, this is for those of you who aren't able to achieve the FPS cap and you're looking for the best mixture of balanced settings which favor performance. You will see a slight visual loss from doing this but it's the best balance. Copy all of the settings from that preset and for those of you who are on seriously low-end systems who are barely able to play this game just set your video preset to the low preset in game as unfortunately you don't really have much to play with in terms of upping visual fidelity you really do need everything at the lowest possible i've gone with the recommended optimized settings for my system at that point once your preset has been selected press escape a few times to go back into the game and see if you're happy with the visual quality of the game don't pay too much attention to the fps as there are a few more things we can do to smooth this out and increase it if you're not happy with the preset pause the video go back to the optimized preset settings, try out the other preset and see what works best for your system. If you are still looking for more FPS at this point, one fantastic option which is built directly into the game is the render scale option found under the general video settings. I'd first of all recommend setting this down to 0.90 or 90%. Seeing how the game looks visually, if you are happy with this, fantastic. If you still aren't able to achieve that 60 FPS cap you're looking for, try out a render scale of 80% and keep lowering this until you achieve the FPS you're looking for. Now as you'll be able to notice on my system, you can see that the frame time graph on this system is incredibly smooth. This is not achievable just using the in-game settings and unfortunately there isn't really any way to get this consistent performance from any settings with inside of the game. That's because the game's 60 FPS lock isn't that efficient. Implementing your own FPS cap instead of utilizing the in-game cap is a much better and more efficient way to achieve silky smooth performance. There are a few different ways I would recommend doing this. The easiest would be to cap FPS via the Nvidia control panel or Radeon control panel depending on which GPU you have or alternatively you utilizing the RTSS or Revertune statistics server application which I have an entire video about in the description down below if you would like to see how to enable an overlay like this inside of your games alongside capping FPS. If you're looking for further improvements to reduce potential screen tearing and enhance overall visual smoothness we can look to enable Nvidia's fast sync or for those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs utilizing Radeon's enhanced sync instead of using the inbuilt vSync implementation built into the game. This way you can reduce visual tearing and lag whilst having some small FPS DVD without it absolutely tanking your performance down to 30 FPS causing a really jarring stutter. So once you're happy with the overall FPS and visuals of your game, for those of you on Nvidia GPUs, right click on the desktop, head to show more options, then select the Nvidia control panel. Head over to manage 3D settings on the left hand side, then go to program settings, then go to add. With inside of here you'll need to find the crew Motorfest application, select this, then select add selected program. We then need to navigate down to the low latency mode, I would recommend having this set to on, we'll then proceed to scroll 
scroll down just a bit further to maximum frame rate. We'll turn this to on and set this manually to 60. If you still run into potential hitching issues, this could be because the FPS cap in game is conflicting with the Nvidia FPS cap. I personally haven't had this issue, but if you do, you may get a better experience capping to something like 55 or 50 FPS so you never hit the in game's FPS cap. And last but not least, do experiment around with this option. It may not be for everyone, but I would definitely recommend heading down to vertical sync, changing the option to fast. Again, please make sure you are only applying this to the program settings of the crew itself and not your global settings, because if you do it for the global settings, this will be set for every single game on your PC, and we do not want that. Once those optimizations have been set, go to the bottom right, select apply. For those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs, right click on your desktop and open the AMD software. Once inside of here, head over to the gaming tab, head to games. You should be able to find the profile for the crew with inside of here. If you do, simply double click on the game. If you don't find the individual profile for the crew, you'll have to set this on the global settings for the Radeon control panel, but you can turn this on and off in games really quickly and easily. Head over to the gaming section, head over to graphics at the top, go to Radeon anti-lag, turn this on, navigate down to Radeon enhanced sync, then go down to advanced. We will then be able to find frame rate target control. Turn this to on and set this to 60, or again, if it's still hitting the limiter in game and it's causing jitters, try 55 or even 50 FPS so you never hit the in-game limit. Remember, this will apply to all games on your system. So when you do boot into other games which aren't the crew, please do remember to press Alt and Z on your keyboard to bring up the overlay in-game, or tab out and turn the frame rate peak target off and potentially adjust the settings for enhanced sync depending on the game in which you're playing. Otherwise, all of your games will be capped at 60 FPS, which you probably don't want. As the crew motorsport has a hard limit of 60 or 30 FPS in-game, this makes it a fantastic opportunity to enable G-Sync or FreeSync technology if it's available on your system for this game. This will ensure that your monitor's refresh rate stays in sync with the FPS which is being delivered, which will produce the smoothest visuals on your screen with minimal jitter, as you aren't having a refresh rate and FPS mismatch, so it's definitely something in which I would recommend that you do. If you are serious about enabling G-Sync or FreeSync for your setup and you would like to see a very quick and easy guide to follow, please do check out the links in the video description down below. And there you guys have it. That is the quick and easy optimization settings for the Crew Motorsport. At this point, head back into the in-game settings, run that benchmark again, let me know your before and afters in that comment section down below, and if you have any other tips or tricks or would like to share your thoughts about the Crew Motorsport, let us know in that comment section down below. And if you're looking for other videos to follow, check out the playlists linked in the description down below, or check out one of the two videos on screen now, and I'll see you guys over there.